What's the difference between Copilot and 365 Copilot? Unfortunately, Microsoft's naming convention serves to create a bit of understandable confusion on the differences. Copilot is designed for the individual to enhance your own personal uses and interactions with web searches and other functions on your computer. This version does not have access to personal files or your email. 365 Copilot, on the other hand, is designed for organizational use, ideally within a company. This version combines the utility of the flagship apps on Office 365 with the added benefit of data privacy. This includes the combined use of Word, Excel, Teams, and many other apps within the Microsoft Office suite. Copilot is available with the Windows 11 update version 23H2, free of charge. I will post another video walking through on how to get access early. Copilot will be integrated across your computer, but it's most notable for its chatbot window appearance off to the right of your screen. You will be able to communicate with it to open up specific apps and change settings on your computer as part of its integrated functions. As part of its functions tied to the web, you can use it to summarize large amounts of information or do research on current projects, much like a personal assistant companion. There will be additional features that revamp well-known apps, such as the Snip and Sketch tool, as well as the Photo Editor, as well as Paint 3D, just to name a few specific examples. Now let's move on to Copilot 365. It will become accessible as part of a $30 subscription added on top of existing Office 365 per user. I will release a tutorial on how you can get this working in your organization as soon as the update goes live. 365 Copilot will harness the combined use and data between the following apps in your organization, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, Teams, OneDrive, Stream, and finally Loop. The way 365 Copilot combines and uses these apps is it can analyze content on one source and call it back via a personalized request onto virtually any of the other apps. 365 Chat will be the interactive hub of your use with the information between these sources. Consider it the regular Copilot, but now with access to and specialized knowledge of files, meetings, and online discussions within your company. You can also command it to complete a task such as opening and summarizing a document or meeting recording or sending an email for you without needing to open those apps yourself. Now let's move on to discussing the unique data protections and advantages it provides. For a file to be within 365 Copilot's view, it will typically need to be stored on your company's OneDrive or SharePoint. Other companies with custom third-party data storage sources would be an exception. This means the information located in these services being used and seen by 365 Copilot cannot be accessed by the web or anyone else using Copilot outside of the company, even after Copilot uses it to help you draw new, genuine insight. The results coming out of it will be just as proprietary and protected as your data going in. Thank you for watching. This was my first video, and I intend to make many more very soon. If you can think of someone who may benefit from this video, please don't hesitate to share it with them.